Aye. I thank the First Minister for her response. Throughout this public health crisis, the Prime Minister has been repeatedly mired in sleaze and corruption. Covid contracts were handed to Conservative Party donors, public sector roles and peerages were handed to political cronies, and an ethics adviser was shown the door rather than accepting his verdict of ministerial bullying. Even more galling than that has been the behaviour amid revelations that the UK Government does not respect the rules it laid down for others. At a time of national crisis, not only did those in his Sorry, inner circle... Sorry, Ms Mackay, Ms Mackay, can I just ask you to um, just pause for a moment while colleagues remember that we all want to hear your question. If you could begin again. Thank you. Thank you, Presiding Officer. Even more galling than all of that has been the behaviour amid revelations that the UK Government does not respect the rules it laid down for others. At a time of national crisis, not only did those in his inner circle deliberately breach the very rules they had set down for the public, they have continually tried to cover it up. And now footage shows them laughing about it while planning their excuses. This is no laughing matter for those of us who have lost a loved one during the pandemic. Boris Johnson has jeopardised public compliance with COVID Ms. measures. Mackay, Ms. Mackay, Minister... Ms Mackay, sorry. First of all, I don't want to have to ask again in this session for quiet so that we can hear members. But Ms Mackay, can you please ask a question? Thank you. Boris Johnson has jeopardised public compliance with COVID measures. Does the First Minister agree with me that it is time for this corrupt Prime Minister to go? First Minister. Yes, I do, presiding officer. Um, while Gillian Mackay was asking her question there, I, I had uh, members of the Tory group uh, shouting at me from a sedentary position that these issues had nothing to do with us here in the Scottish Parliament. Well, I beg to differ. I think the principles and the values of openness, integrity and transparency matter to all of us who care about democracy in this country. I think Boris Johnson has many questions to answer. There are more questions surfacing today around the whole Downing Street wallpaper uh, issue, but I'll leave them to one side. I don't think it is simply a corrupt incumbent of number 10 that has to go. I think it's time for Scotland to get rid of the whole broken, corrupt Westminster system that is holding us back. And we can only do that, presiding officer, by becoming an independent country.